A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps we will be tra trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph, and their failure they would be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe the mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and the Lord heard my voice. I love you, Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I explain, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works for my Father, for which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, It is not written in your law, I said you are God's, if it calls them gods, to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has <coughs> consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to a place where John first baptized and there remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there, began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Hope everybody over there can see the candle. The last time I used a prop, it was a champagne bottle, but I'll save that for another time. The late Archbishop Helder Camaro was the Archbishop of the Archdiocese in Brazil. And for three whole decades, he was a, a giant in championing the rights of the poor and the oppressed of the South American Archdiocese. Until his death in 1999, Bishop Hilder was known throughout the world as a prophet of peace and justice, and an apostle of nonviolence who worked tirelessly to bring the plight of the poor to the attentions of the world's most affluent nations. He once spoke of his life and work this way. God, permit that the symbol of my life be a candle <coughs> that burns itself, spends itself, consumes itself, while there is still wax to burn. And I think this is a very fitting image as we get towards the end of Lent and looking forward to the resurrection. Because in this image, God is the candle maker who fashions our souls and then lights them with the fire of his love by baptism, fire of the Holy Spirit. And the wax is our bodies, the wick that is God's gift of time will burn itself, spend itself, and consume itself. But God promises in the Easter mystery that the light will never be extinguished. If we allow ourselves to let that flame burn in our lives, if we don't hes hesitate to let ourselves be consumed by God's fire of, just of justice and mercy and forgiveness, then one day we will, be, we will transcend wax and wick and become the flame itself. God is the giver and sustainer of our lives, who illuminates our hearts and spirits with the fire of his love. May that fire consume us in works of kindness, mercy, and healing, that others may see his life in us. And when our wax and wick is finally spent, may we realize his Easter promise of beginning, becoming that fire that will never burn out for all eternity. Hey.